In the heart of a rugged landscape, where the cliffs seemed to claw at the sky, a crew of construction workers was assigned a daunting task, to carve a tunnel through the mountain's heart, connecting two remote villages. Among them was Alex, a seasoned worker with a reputation for his fearlessness and expertise. The project was challenging, but progress was steady, under the relentless roar of machines and the echo of hammers against stone. One evening, as twilight descended upon the construction site, Alex discovered an unusual rock embedded in the excavated earth. It was a ruby, the size of a fist, gleaming with an unnerving intensity. The ruby seemed to pulsate with a light of its own, casting shadows that danced around Alex's feet. Mesmerized, Alex pocketed the ruby, unaware of the old legends that whispered of cursed gems lurking within the mountain. The next day, a thick fog descended, shrouding the site in an impenetrable mist. The workers grumbled about delays, but Alex felt a strange urgency, an inexplicable pull towards the heart of the tunnel. He climbed into his truck, the ruby in his jacket pocket, and drove into the gaping maw of the tunnel. The lights of his truck pierced the darkness, but the fog seemed to swallow the beams, leaving only a claustrophobic glow around the vehicle. As Alex ventured deeper, the engine's hum was joined by another sound, a soft whisper, like the sigh of the wind through narrow canyons. He shrugged it off as his imagination, focusing on the path illuminated by his headlights. But then, the whispers grew louder, morphing into anguished cries that echoed off the tunnel walls. The truck's tires suddenly felt as if they were sinking, the ground beneath them turning soft, unsteady. Alex slammed on the brakes, the eerie cries intensifying, swirling around him in a cacophony of despair. Panicked, Alex tried to reverse, but the truck wouldn't budge. The cries became deafening, and then, as suddenly as they had begun, they stopped. In the silence that followed, Alex heard a soft, dripping sound. He turned on the interior light and gasped in horror. The ruby, no longer in his pocket, lay on the passenger seat, oozing a thick, crimson liquid that seemed to seep into the fabric, staining it a dark, ominous red. Realizing the ruby was at the heart of this nightmare, Alex grabbed it, intending to throw it out of the window. But as his skin made contact with the gem, the whispers returned, louder, more demanding. They were voices, he realized, the voices of those who had tried to claim the ruby before him, trapped within its crimson depths. In a desperate bid for freedom, Alex hurled the ruby out of the truck and into the darkness of the tunnel. The whispers turned into shrieks of rage, but Alex didn't wait to hear more. He managed to free the truck and sped out of the tunnel emerging into the night, panting and drenched in cold sweat. The construction project was abandoned soon after, the tunnel left incomplete, a silent testament to the greed and folly of men. The ruby was never found again, but on certain nights, when the fog descends upon the mountain, the echoes of anguished cries can be heard, whispering warnings to those who dare venture near the cursed tunnel. Years passed, and the story of Alex and the cursed ruby became a legend whispered in the villages on either side of the mountain. The incomplete tunnel, now overgrown and forsaken, stood as a monument to fear and superstition. Yet, the land's memory is long, and legends have a way of beckoning the bold and the foolish alike. Decades later, a group of young adventurers, fueled by tales of treasure and haunted places, decided to explore the whispering past tunnel. They laughed off the old stories, armed with modern lights and the bravado of youth. Their leader, a charismatic and daring soul named Carla, was particularly fascinated by the tale of the crimson ruby and its supposed curse. As they ventured into the tunnel, their lights revealed the remnants of the construction effort, rusty tools, broken machinery, and the tracks where trucks once rolled. The air grew colder, the silence deeper, as they moved further in. Then, just as the legends described, a dense fog began to roll in, enveloping them in a ghostly mist. Carla halted the group, a sense of unease settling over her. The laughter and jokes faded, replaced by an oppressive silence, punctuated only by the sound of their breathing. It was then they heard it, a faint whisper, barely audible over the sound of their own heartbeats. Dismissing it as the wind, they pressed on, until the whispers grew clearer, becoming cries of pain and terror that echoed through the tunnel. The group froze, fear gripping their hearts. Carla, attempting to maintain her composure, urged them to turn back, but the fog seemed to confuse their sense of direction, making the entrance appear just as distant as the depths they had yet to explore. Panic set in as they realized they were not alone. 
Shadows flitted at the edge of their vision, and the air became thick with the scent of iron, a smell reminiscent of blood. The cries grew louder, more desperate, as if the very tunnel itself was alive with the agony of trapped souls. It was then that Carla remembered the heart of the legend, the ruby, the source of the curse. Recalling the tale of how Alex had thrown it away to escape, she shouted over the din, the ruby. We need to find the ruby, guided by instinct more than logic, Carla stumbled through the fog towards where she felt the cries were loudest. There, in a small recess in the tunnel wall, gleamed the ruby, its crimson light pulsating with a sinister energy. Without thinking, Carla reached out and grasped the ruby, and the tunnel fell silent. The fog dissipated as suddenly as it had appeared, revealing the tunnel exit just a few yards away. The group, led by Carla, ran towards the light, emerging into the cool night air, gasping for breath. They did not stop running until they had put miles between themselves and the tunnel. Back in the safety of their homes, Carla examined the ruby, which now lay quiet and dull in her hand. She knew then that the curse was real, and by taking the ruby, she had somehow appeased the spirits of the tunnel, at least for now. The ruby was locked away, hidden where greed and curiosity could not find it. Carla never spoke of what happened in the tunnel, and in time, the adventure became just another tale added to the legend of the Whispering Pass. But the land remembers, and the ruby waits, its crimson lure eternal, a beacon for those drawn to the mysteries of the dark and the whispers of the curse.